Police video shows how a burglary investigation near Socorro led to the suspect crashing a stolen truck and setting it on fire before police shot him. Here's News 13's Chris McKee. The suspect, 32-year-old Richard Zamora, survived that December car chase and shooting, which ended in an arroyo below I-25 just south of Socorro. Officers thought Zamora was armed with a real gun. Oh yeah, it was pretty new. The story of how this then, new truck ended in a burnt up yeah. heap with a suspect shot in the chest. Stop, stop. Get ready, get ready, get ready. It starts with Socorro County deputies chasing a burglary suspect deep into an arroyo. Freeze right there, freeze! Get out of the car! Deputies were after 32-year-old Richard Zamora, a man accused of breaking in at a horse farm in Vegeta and stealing the victim's truck on a Saturday afternoon, December 5th. I know who you are! Zamora was stuck in the dirt and getting desperate as two deputies cornered him. Come on, kill me! What are you reaching for? Watch out, bro. Asking officers to shoot him. Come on! Come on! Do it. Just do it, man! No. Zamora started throwing rocks at deputies. Did he hit you? Yep. They ran from an effort to tase Zamora when he pointed what deputies thought was a real gun. He does have a gun! 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 Surrounded by deputies and state police, that truck's going up. Zamora lit the stolen truck on fire. Officers say he wouldn't drop his weapon. Put the gun down! Do it now! Do it now! We want to help you, man! Don't do this! Don't do this! Don't do this! Did you shoot him? Next to the burnt out truck, Zamora was shot by state police sergeant Armando Reyes Yamas. Zamora survived his injuries and was taken into custody. Police later determined that weapon Zamora had was actually a BB gun. No officers were seriously hurt, and Zamora is recovering from his injuries. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. Zamora is facing more than a dozen charges for what happened, including burglary, car theft, and several counts of assaulting a police officer. He's being kept in jail pending trial.